Welcome to our FB page, the free reviewers managed by Leona Lin. At ang video ito ay upload din natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leona Lin. Now, kung napapansin niyo, seven item kasi ito. Kung napapansin niyo, dito muna tayo sa basic, tapos meron tayong post natin ito. Meron tayong pang civil service exam style, itong number six, at si number seven. Pansin niyo ba? Ito number 7, kung familiar ba to sa inyo? If 4 days before tomorrow is Saturday, what is 3 days after yesterday? As in, sobrang iba-iba yung mga sagot nyo dito. Na-upload na natin yung mismong sagot natin. Na-explain na natin kung paano yun yung sagot. So ngayon naman, umpisahan natin sa basic Ang tanong, paano nga ba sagutan yung mga ganyang tanong na halos paulit-ulit yan sa mismong civil service exam? Umpisahan nyo sa basic. Now, let's do number one. Wait, ano nga bang sinulat ko dito? Seven item basic muna tayo pero sobrang daming nagkakamali nito. Kabisaduin para hindi malito kapag komplikado na yung tanong. Now, let's do number one. Basic. Tomorrow is... Wednesday, yung tomorrow, Wednesday, means yesterday is Tuesday or today is Tuesday. So, may mga nagkakamali nito. Isipin nyo na lang ha, yung iba akala nila walang today. Always remember na bago mag tomorrow, yung yesterday na yan, dadaan pa yan sa today bago yung tomorrow. So, ang given dito, ang tomorrow daw, nasa given na ang tomorrow daw ay Wednesday. A day before Wednesday, anong ibig sabihin yan? This is Tuesday. At bago yung Tuesday, yan ay Monday. Therefore, ang yesterday ay Monday, today ay Tuesday, tomorrow ay Wednesday. Saan sa choices ang tama? Kasi yung iba, sumagot na ang yesterday ay Tuesday. Mali yan siya. Yung letter B ang tamang sagot. Today ay Tuesday. Gets nyo ba to? Ulitin lang natin ha. Kapag ang given, focus lang tayo sa given. Kapag ang given ay tomorrow ay Wednesday, take note na dadaan pa yan sa today at may bago ka mag yesterday. So, kung tomorrow ay Wednesday, yung today mo, yan yung Tuesday. Tapos, yung yesterday mo, yan yung Monday. Hindi yung yesterday yung Tuesday. Nasaan si today kung sasabihin ng iba na yung yesterday tuloy ay Tuesday. Nasaan si today? So, therefore, ang tamang sagot dito sa number one ay B. Today is Tuesday. Next, number two. Ganon din. Itong si number 2, medyo lumabas to mga 2018 yata. Yesterday is to tomorrow. Sulat natin yan. Kasi marami ding nag nalilito nito. Yesterday is to tomorrow. Tandaan na dadaan pa yan ng today. Ngayon, ang nasa given dito ay March. Meron ding sumagot na ang next daw ay April. April. Mali yan siya. Kasi, ang nasa unang Paris ay yesterday is to tomorrow. So, nalaktawan yung today. So, therefore, March is to, yung next sa April, March, April, May. Yan yung Paris sa tomorrow natin. Therefore, ang tamang sagot dito ay letter B. Next, number three. Dito, importanteng, importante itong number three, pati itong number four. Kapag sinabing one day before tomorrow, anong ibig sabihin yan? Is it yesterday, today, or tomorrow? So, tomorrow, today, tapos yung yesterday. Kapag sinabing one day before tomorrow, ito yung tomorrow, one day before, ibig sabihin yan, today. 
Now, kung nalilito kayo dito sa one day before tomorrow, gawin nating one day before today. Okay. So, isulat ulit natin itong yesterday. Tapos, yung today. Pangit na ang pagkasulat ko. And then, yung tomorrow. Now, kapag sinabing one day before today, dito tayo sa today. Before today, that is yesterday. So, letter B. Therefore, kung balikan natin itong number 3, one day before tomorrow, that is today. Next, number 5. Now, palapit na tayo sa mismong yung lumabas sa civil service exam lately. Two days before tomorrow. So, isulat ulit natin para hindi kayo malito ba? Mayroon tayong yesterday, mayroon tayong today, at mayroon tayong tomorrow. Two days bago yung bukas. Ito yung tomorrow. Two days. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung one. At ito yung Two. So, therefore, kapag sinabing two days before tomorrow, ang ibig sabihin yan ay yesterday. Wait, ma'am. Nalilito kami yung two days before tomorrow. Hindi pa today yan siya, ma'am, or ganyan. Okay. Balikan natin itong one day. One day before Tomorrow. Ang one day before tomorrow, yan yung two days. Today. Bali, today. So, yan yung count one. One day before. Kapag two days, two days na tayo dito, two days before tomorrow, so ito yung one day before tomorrow, ang two days before tomorrow, yan yung yesterday. Next, number five. Tomorrow is Saturday. So, isulat natin para hindi kayo malito. Sulat natin na mayroon tayong yesterday. Tapos, yung today natin. And then, tomorrow. Kapag sinabing tomorrow is Saturday, ibig sabihin, sulat na natin si Saturday dyan. Tapos, yung before sa Saturday, sulat na rin natin yung Friday. Remember, nadadaan tayo always sa today. Before sa Friday... Sulat natin yung Thursday, which is yesterday. Now, the following are correct, except daw, except. Choice A, today is Friday, which is, today is Friday ang nandito. Tomorrow is Saturday, which is, tomorrow is Saturday, accepted. Yesterday is Friday, yan yung mali. Kasi nga, yung today dyan ay Friday. Yesterday ay Thursday, so tama din yan. Therefore, ang sagot dito, dahil except ang hinahanap, is letter C. Next, number 6, yung pang civil service exam style. So, again, meron na naman tayong yesterday. Kapag meron tayong yesterday, wag kalimutan na dadaan tayo sa today bago yung tomorrow. Now, Word analogy ito. Ang nasa unang set, yesterday is to tomorrow. So, kung Thursday ito, sulat natin si Thursday. Again, dadaan pa tayo sa today. So, ang next sa Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. Now, sa palagay nyo, ano kaya ang tamang sagot dito? Sa unang set, ang word analogy kung ano yung unang set, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa second set. Ang unang set ay yesterday is to tomorrow. Therefore, ang tamang sagot dito ay Thursday kasi Thursday ang given. Thursday is to Saturday. So, ang sagot dito ay Saturday. Next, number 7. So, itong si number 7, meron na tayong separate video nito. At na-explain na natin kung paanong yun yung sagot. Ngayon, explain lang natin ulit para sa iba na nalilito pa rin. 
So, gawin natin, kasi four days yan siya, gawin natin ito yung fourth, tapos third, second, first, and then yung tomorrow. Kasi before tomorrow. So, gawin natin itong tomorrow. Isa-isahin natin, kapag sinabi, kasi four days before ito, kapag sinabing one day before tomorrow is Saturday, ibig sabihin, ito yung Saturday. Kung ang sinasabi ay one day before tomorrow is Saturday. Next, Kung two days before tomorrow is Saturday, two days before tomorrow is Saturday, yan ang one day, dito naman yung Saturday. Ngayon, may nag-comment, Ma'am, bakit uh, yung Saturday ay naurong, bakit na-change? Wala namang na-change, nasa given lang ba? Halimbawa lang, kapag sinabing, if one day, one day before tomorrow is Saturday, kaya nilagay natin si Saturday dyan. Para lang alam mo ba kung ano ibig sabihin ng four days before tomorrow. So, yan yung ibig sabihin. Ngayon, kung ang palitan natin na iyan ng two days before tomorrow is Saturday, nandito na si Saturday. Now, kapag sinabi namang, Three days before tomorrow, nandito na si Saturday. Andiyan na si Saturday. Now, ang nasa given ay four days, so erase natin yan. Ang four days before tomorrow, therefore, nandito na si Saturday. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng four days before tomorrow is Saturday. Now, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday yung tomorrow. Okay? Now, yung tanong. What is three days, three days after yesterday? Dahan-dahanin natin yan. Umpisahan natin sa one day. A day after yesterday, kasi ito yung tomorrow. Now, kung yan yung tomorrow, yung Wednesday, therefore, yung first day na yan, yan yung today. Tandaan, yung today ay dadaan tayo sa today bagi, bago maging yesterday. So, kapag sinabing one day after yesterday, so ito yung yesterday, ha? one day after yesterday, yan yung today, that is one day after yesterday. Kapag sinabing two days after yesterday, yan yung tomorrow, yan yung two days after yesterday, yan yung tomorrow. Ngayon, ang nasa tanong kasi dito ay, ang natanong dito ay, three days after yesterday. Yan yesterday na yan, three days after yan, this is one, two, Three. Ang today, yan yung Tuesday. Ang tomorrow, yan yung Wednesday. Anong next sa Wednesday? Thursday. Kaya ang tamang sagot dito sa number 7 na minsan ang lumabas sa mismong civil service exam ay Thursday. Thank you for watching and I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.